Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, got a little bit fed up with all the tier 3 stuff, so I thought we'd hop into a few little bit of ranked battles. I always seem to enjoy dabbling a little bit in these at the start of the season, but kind of lose a bit of steam on it towards the end, so I never really get anywhere too far. But anyway, um, defending on a little bit of border fort, brought out the javelins. Really quite enjoying these Imperial Javelins, particularly at the start of these games, because they're quite fun for just sort of picking off picking off a few heroes, picking off particularly like key units, people being Falcos, stuff like that, um, Flamers and that sort of thing. You know, if you can really get a Javelin volley into them, it ends up being really actually super helpful. Stuff like that can really be kind of game-changing in terms of how much of an effect you can have on a push. So, yeah, quite enjoying them. But anyway, just use a cannon or two first. I noticed that that Ballista is taking the, the occasional pop shot at me, I think. Um, where's the shot? No, maybe he's not. Maybe he switched targets. I thought he was going to shoot me. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> Make sure we don't go and get uh, myself killed right at the start of the video. That would be embarrassing, although certainly not the first time it's happened. Let's just hang on. Will he... Oh, although it goes the cannon anyway. That answers that question. Um, so let's see what they bring in. I could, of course, some people like to bring their javelins up to the walls to, to sort of throw down and stuff from here. You can do, but the enemy's got so much artillery, inev inevitably they'll get hit by something. Um, and I just don't think it's worth it just to throw some javelins at a few peasants. So we shall hang on. Uh, we'll just leave them in safety for now. Let's let them land. Let's see what we're going to do. I don't know if this tower's going to get in or not. Um, we could theoretically javelin the tower. It's actually one way of kind of stopping towers. Javelins, you know, a good javelin volley into a tower does actually do a decent dish amount of damage. Although, kind of really, javelin sergeants are better for this because they've got a lot more ammo. And it's a reasonable walk to the supply point from here, even though it's sort of quite close in terms of linear distance. Actually, going up and down the stairs and around takes a little bit longer. Let's bring the unit up anyway. Ooh, are they in the gateway? Interesting, interesting. I wonder if from here. We've got the height advantage. It's technically at range, but with the height, we might be able to hit that. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> Killed two, two halberdier sergeants. It's, it's not going to win us the match, but every little helps. Um, move back into cover them. We'll decide which way we're going to defend. I'd rather defend on this left side, really. I, I, I kind of don't like dealing with the right. But having said that, there's nothing there in terms of friendly units and... Although these Javelin Sergeant, um, Javelin Sergeant, Imperial Javelineers can jab slightly, uh, melee slightly, you really don't want to be doing that. I wonder if we can snipe a hero here, but they're all kind of a bit in a line. Have a, oh, God. <laughs> That's why I like these Javelins. Yeah, they are good fun. Because <laughs> you can do silly little things like that. Uh, yeah, you can kind of snipe heroes a little bit with these guys. They're really high damage javelins. I really need to get some of the um, better doctrine, alchemy doctrines on them here in a minute as well. Let's have a look. We've got friendly flamers here. Let's just stand at the back. We've got one volley left. Let's just throw it into the crowd. Don't know if we'll hit any heroes. No, nope. grabbed a couple of kills. Those trebs should be ending. So let's get the unit back to the supply point. Re ammo and we'll carry on. Fought a little bit as a hero. I've uh, got some uh, Iron Reapers here pushing in. Iron Reapers obviously fairly recently got a, a buff. They're still not amazing, but they are sort of actually a properly viable unit now. They are okay for sort of getting that initial hit, particularly against shields with their flails. They seem to do a pretty decent job of it, so yeah, solid unit now. Not overpowered, not underpowered. Rarely, actually. Kind of a balanced unit, I guess. Anyway, got a javelin's back. We'll push them up to the bottom of the stairs initially. Um, there's a little bit of enemy ranged fire coming in, although judging by the looking of the poison arrows, it's probably only wrath and vipers, so... I'm not overly concerned. I might push up and just try and get a volley into that cluster. It's perhaps a little bit far for me to throw, really, but let's have a little go. Let's get them into position and chuck. And then move them out the way. And there we go. Oh, we've got ourselves six or seven kills. I try not to... And one thing I notice quite a few people seem to do, which I do sometimes myself but try and avoid, is waiting for shots to land. So you see, I aimed through, and then I'm not standing around for an extra two seconds waiting to see what I hit. You fire and move. It makes no difference if you sit and watch what you're going to hit. <laughs> the, the javelins have already gone, so move. Oh, Treb's coming in. Uh, we should be safe here. Need a nice little bit of... Oh, I say that. This should be safe as a trebuchet explodes right next to me. Lovely. Good job, Evo. 
Um, okay, they're going to start pushing this side. Ow! That more to hop, hop, hurt, shot hurt. English. Uh, right, let's push up them. Let's just get stuck in. We'll just throw straight into that cluster. Uh, start picking ourselves up some more kills. And have another go then with our three ability. I can't really target. Wow, we've got quite a few kills on that throw. Can't target heroes too specifically at this sort of range of these bigger fights, but sometimes, yeah, like that guy. If you're too close to the front line, I can kind of quite easily just throw into the crowd, and because they're at such close range, then they can hit relatively easily. Nice, right, well, that's two hero kills. Can we get the pole axe? Uh, the maul, sorry? No, we cannot. Um, do I want to play with these shield maidens? Ugh, these imperial shields are going to get absolutely destroyed here. I sort of want to get involved, but I also know how rapidly Shield Maidens can kill me in cover commander mode. They'll kill me in seconds. This is... Uh, oh, we shouldn't be here. Let's roll out if we can get out alive. Come on, Evo, roll! Roll! Oh, there's absolutely nothing here at all. Where has the team gone? Uh, I think they're pushing on the other side of the A point, which is why. Gonna make it kind of hard for us to get back up, though, now. Let's move back up to the steps. Oh, there's so much high tier stuff there that if I push in there as a hero, uh, I'm going to be dead rather rapidly. Are they going to push these stairs? Yeah, that's what I don't want to do with my javelins, is just push up to the top here like that. Yes, it's going to be very hard to um, get in. We might be able to javelin them from the bottom. A few. Oh, you know what I'm doing? One of those things that you know is a bad idea, but you're going to do it anyway. That That is yes. me now, pushing up. We need to try and help A, but I don't really want to be... Fighting into. Oh, God. Um, keep pushing forwards, keep pushing forwards. I was a little bit friendly support from some medals. Um, oh, those archers are pulling back. That would have been a nice javelin hit. Okay, let's push in then and try and throw onto point. Let's try and throw onto point. Into the back of them if we can get a good hit into the back of those shield maidens. Nice, good. Uh, they're going to start pushing through on this side though. And we're getting pushed from the back. Okay, not an ideal situation. Uh, okay, we're into melee now. Let's get a javelin throw in. Ah! We're screwed here, but let's just take as many as we can, which wasn't all that many. <laughs> we did it against the Cinderdars. Okay, well, 40 kills, 2 hero kills. Okay, not exactly an amazing start. Uh, I kind of got a little bit sandwiched in the middle there. I think I possibly should have pushed into A rather than wait into that middle point. I was kind of trying to stay in a bit of a clear zone so I could then basically just continue to use my javelins on both sides. But he ended up sort of just getting into a bit of an Evo sandwich and I was the filling in the middle of that squash. I think A point is probably done for here. Um, a couple of spear sergeants on point, but they're really not going to be holding for all that long. I've got my Maidens. This is my last really good unit. I think I've got a few sons of Fenrir, which actually I must admit I've been getting on surprisingly well with in these ranked battles, which you wouldn't really expect to. But anyway, separate problem. We'll deal with those later. Uh, I just don't want to go and suicide my unit. So you see they've got some coconut throwers on the top of that ridge. This is when having the javelins again would have been perfect because I would be able to target them quite easily. Uh, so I don't want to stand in that. So I'm going to hang back a little bit. We could go into supply. We may end up making a battle to try and hold supply. The risk, of course, is you get trapped in there, particularly they got Javelins, Senji, those coconut throwers. They'll be able to throw down into supply and burn units. So I don't want to be too static. Problem is they're pushing with a really lot of stuff. My current thought process, if they engage the front line of the supply point defense, I could come in from the side. I, 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 I'm always caught in these positions where I want to help the team. I don't want to leave these sort of five or six people in there to die. But equally, I don't want to just suicide my unit in some sort of noble attempt to help, which doesn't really do anything. And that's kind of always the balance you face on these. I don't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those Cedars when there's so many enemy units there. But if we can catch them when they hit the front of the defence and then I can come in from the side of the back, could actually do quite well. I'm just going to loiter at the moment. I'm not going to make a decision. Let's just see what happens. They're starting to commit to that front lot. They're charging in. Oh, I've only had a little bit more allied support here. Uh, they've gone for it. Oh, I've really got to, haven't I? Oh, bad idea. Evo is doing something stupid, but okay, let's go for it. Swords out. In we go. Straight into the side. Oh, they countercharged us with pikes. It didn't hurt me too much. Let's push in. Let's try and deal with the enemy heroes. They're the biggest things that's knocked down my shield maidens and caused me damage. So if we can keep those guys down, we've got a bit of friendly support pushing in from behind, which is nice. Racking up some kills. One enemy hero down, two enemy heroes down. Try and get this pole axe. Nice. Three enemy heroes down. Let's keep the pressure on. We are starting to take some damage as we push into these fourth brashers. 
Sentry grenade's not helpful. Yes, more friendly support charging in. I'm going to try and push for this gap and try and get into the supply point so I can get on and heal the unit. But we've still got some of them left alive. Yes, friendly cav. That is what we need. Nice, nice. We've wiped it. We've wiped it. Up to 100 kills. Can we get the last hero? And we can. That was number four, I think. <laughs> Let's just clean up, finish out this point now. There we go. Another enemy hero. God, shield maidens are ridiculous. Okay. Whew. We are in. I didn't think that was going to go as well as that. Let's just watch out for grenades and stuff coming in onto supply. I particularly don't any coconuts. Don't want to burn my unit to death now. I've done so well with them. Yeah, that panned out really, really nicely. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, but wasn't what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> in that, we did manage to catch them in. The supply point defenders did a really good job of basically holding them on that front line, and that means the enemy were kind of a bit tunnel visioned on to trying to push into that supply, and that enabled me to sort of get into the side. And because we were able to take out quite a few of those enemy heroes fairly early on, that really panned out nicely for us. Um, oh, do I want to go into this cavalry fight? Not really, but I'm probably going to anyway. I may be getting overconfident now. Fighting in a few laos. Uh, should we go swords? Oh, men at arms charging in. Stow what's behind. I can probably deal with the men at arms. Depends if anything else turns up. Well, we're into it now. Oh, there's a bit of enemy stuff pushing in from behind. Yeah, this was a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't escape the charge. Oh, well, that's us done for. <laughs> yeah. Yep, good job of that Hazard player. He lined that up pretty perfectly. There wasn't a lot. Once he'd got that, I was I was completely stuck in that fight. Okay, right. Well, we are doing pretty well. We've held our own. We've got five minutes left to go. We've only got my sons of Fenrir remaining. Definitely going to have to get some artillery out, I think, to try and stick on the point. The problem, or the hardest bit, is probably going to be... Can we all respawn, regroup, get back to final point in time to make an effective defence? Because the enemy, and this is ranked, you tend to, people tend to play at least a bit better, might just rush final point. That's what they should do. And that's going to make it really hard for us to, to get a defence up in time if that's what they do. They're all streaming out of supply and starting to come down here now already. I've still got another 10 seconds. Mm, this isn't looking great, to be honest. We might be in a spot of bother here. Uh, let's hope we can delay them. Uh, I really want to try and grab a, uh, like a Huacha or something. Do I, do I have one? Where is it? Where is it? Purple Huacha. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Am I blind? Oh, I just don't have one. Right, okay. No, I'm not blind. Just an idiot. Right. Sons of Fenrir and a grape shot it is then. No, come on, come on. I suppose this unit is at least fast. Let's just call them with double tap C. Actually, they should keep up just fine. Uh, so we've got a bit of friendly Pavis coming in. But it looks like they're already starting to push through that breach. Yeah, they're already starting to push actual final base point. And this is the problem. We've not really got time to set up. Our range is still moving over. There's no one, no one on point at all. Let's just get straight on in. Uh, if we can get the Sons of Fenrir here in shortly, then we might be able to deal with some of these heroes on point. Short Sword's backing out. Nope, where's he going? Oh, he's going for the cannon. We can try and get him, actually. If we can protect the cannon, that won't be a bad thing. Keep him on the floor. Sons of Fenrir in, damage mod on, even in his iron sides they'll take him out. Yep, there he goes. Um, right, onto the range then, they've got Senji at the back. Push the unit in, put them onto speed buff mode. Predator, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, they didn't really do all that much, they're just getting hit by the Senji grenades. Mm, what are we going to do, let's just go for the range as a hero. Try and avoid the shots, get round behind. They've got a short sword defending, try and lock over them down. Come on Evo, push. Please take one or two of the Senjus with me. Oh dear. This is not looking good. This is not looking good, lads. We're going to manage to snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory here, I think. No. Oh, there's only eight of us left alive. We've got Medals now in our corner. Secured that point. That pole actually is going to be doomed before too long. Halfway through the cap. Oh, and they've managed to get um, shield units basically to block our respawn route in. Which is going to make it pretty much impossible for us to get back there now. Well, it was a good match. We, we had some fun games there and some fun sort of moves in that match. But alas, not quite enough to secure victory. It's going to be a defeat. But it was certainly a really fun match. Actually, probably a good little fight there. Uh, didn't manage to quite get MVP. But those Shield Maidens certainly did us pretty proud. You, uh, you can't really go wrong with Shield Maidens in Ranked. Because they do, do sort of perform really so well. And the uh, Javelin's not doing too badly for us either. Anyway... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the video for lots more Conquest Blade content. Thanks for watching, guys. 
See you all on the next one.